Hello guys and welcome back to Hunters Prestige. In this video, we're gonna be showcasing you guys our favorite bits of 2023, some of the builds we've done. Let's get into it. Hello guys and welcome back to Hunters Prestige. On today's episode, we're gonna be doing a whole wrap up of the year. Um, I'm joined with Tristan. Hi guys. Who's normally behind the camera. Yeah, for um, a bit. But we thought it would be a bit weird if I just sat here and spoke to yeah. myself for... It does feel weird being the other side of the camera, I can't yeah. lie. But yeah, I thought, first of all, we asked, like, uh, I put on our socials, uh, reached out to you guys um, to send in photos of what you guys have done to your defenders. Mm. Um, so yeah, we're just going to go through a few. And I thought, what best person to start off than your like biggest fan yep uh and it's andy chen and what a, what a change from what he had as a base I car know. to I, now he's still updating us um on 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 his build yeah. um but i mean from from when he picked it up to now it's still like there's too many products to list yeah. off. That... There's there's literally that whole car has changed. It's it, it looks more like a V8 now than a day mm. ever before. I mean, and the amount the, it, that's a very very spec'd up 110. Yeah, it's. I mean he's he's lucky to get the 11.4 screen from mm -hmm. when he picked it up. Um, but it's got the carbon steering wheel as he's well. Got, yeah, the full like carbon interior. Yeah. Um, what else has he got? Love it. It looks so good as well, Andy. <laughs> He's got um, the like extended arches, yep. pod light, ladder. Uh, Everything is now gloss black from being the silver front and rear bumper. He's now got that in gloss black as well. Yeah. If, if, if he didn't like send it like the progress of his build, mm. I wouldn't have believed it was the same car to be fair. Yeah. But it's good to see like people out, out, out there doing that to their car. Like, like standard for us. Yeah. But yeah. A lot of people would struggle to get, and he's done well, really, to fit all them parts. It looks really, really, really good. The one thing I would say though is, he, I've, I've, I have told him, to be fair, but he needs to get the Hunter front bumper. Mm. That's the one thing he's missing, I think. He has canards on there, doesn't he? Yeah, he's got the front canards, but it's just, it's just missing the front bumper. Yeah, it needs to be, be needs to be right. more bulky, Andy. <laughs> <laughs> needs to be. Other than that, I think you've done a really good job. Yeah. I think it looks really good. Next up, we have Connor Lyson. Lyson? Lyson, I think, yeah. Um, he uses his vehicle as obviously a skip high car, and that is such a cool looking car. Yeah, I think uh, the front like look mm. is certainly something like that we have sort of had to make like hunters. That's like yeah. the hunters look. At the, the, front. The, the hunters having... thing is having a lot of lights. <laughs> like, yeah. Generally, we have our front bumper with integrated DRLs. Yep. We have our pod lights. Yep. We have a front grille light as well. And we have our reverse lights and also our LED boo lights as well. Yeah, we've we got something else. We've got, we do have one new thing coming. Yeah, but we can't. But we can't, really can't tell anybody light, yeah. anything yet. <laughs> um, which is which, what I've been saying, especially with um, Leo's car the other week, was you have so much light at the front, mm -hmm. so much light at the rear, you need something on the side. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, that's Connor's car. Cheers for sending that, that in. Also, someone else that uses their car who we actually had in, um, Steve Kelly uh, from Crouch Recovery. Yeah. Uh, I, rem so I remember that one. That was that was hunter level of lights yeah <laughs> they found someone that liked lights as much as we do yeah. um and he had an awesome setup with um he had like the uh, like, like, the... like a light um controller yeah he, he obviously uses his car again for recovery and his whole car was had a massive light rig everywhere mm. and his, his control pad was actually next to his pv pro yeah. screen as well you'll see you'll see it i'll, I'll put it in here the, the setup he's got because it's yeah he's amazing he's it's, wicked it's, <laughs> I, I i just 
yeah, I mm. couldn't believe how many lights were on that. Mm. We had we had so many people contact us as well yeah. in regards to um, where do we go to get a commercial build like that with full light rig. Mm. Um, it's definitely something that we're considering for 2024, especially with the amount of commercial customers we'll get through the door. Yeah. Um, the light rigs are a massive, massive thing. Um, we're actually talking with um, a customer at the moment who came in who specializes mm. in trucks. Um, and he does truck lighting and stuff like that. Yeah. So hopefully in the new year, we'll have a pre-made, pre-fabbed yeah. kit available. Um, it's exciting. For you recovery boys. Yeah. We've been doing a lot of research and development this year mm. into new products that we're gonna be doing in 2024. Obviously we just released our new mm. Range Rover line, um, which we haven't actually done anything on yet, as in told a lot of people about. Yeah, um, but we're obviously stepping into the Range Rover side in yeah. 2024. Um, which I'm excited for, can't wait for that. Um, obviously, we've already got our own one in, absolutely stripped it bare. Got so many new products lined up for doing the Range Rovers. Um, and one of the things, the new products we're looking at for a Defender would obviously be some sort of variation again of our pod lights. So mm. the pod, light, pod lights are always one of our best sellers. I mean, we're, we're yeah. sold out. We sold, we're sold out now, yeah. We, we literally get them in and they go out the door. Yeah. I'm hoping, straight away. hoping, hopefully when this video comes out, we'll have some more stock in or we'll be yeah. really close to getting some stock in. Yeah, well, we have large, large amount of shipments well, they're coming They're on in. the way, aren't they? Yeah, so. it's just a case of when they land. So, but things like that, popular products do normally go out the door pretty quickly. Yes, yeah, so just um, getting quick when they do come back because, yeah, like, like you say, they're just very, very popular products. Yeah. They, they, they go out the door quicker than we can actually put them on the shelf. Yeah. Jeffrey Taylor, um, all the way from Virginia, United States. Um, he had oh, a lot man. of stuff, side steps, reverse light, V2 boot light, uh, protection plates um, for front bumper and the boot. Obviously, that is more of a practical build. Um, he's also got the laser um, triple yeah, I saw that the front. on the front as well. Mm. So he's a Hunter fan with lights. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but it, we love practical builds like that. and. You know, we get a lot of people come in the door, they turn their car gloss black, mm. black out as much as possible. Mm. Um, obviously that gets a lot of looks, but we also like the practical side of everything as well. Um, yeah, going back to the V2s, I mean, mm. you think about when we, because we were buying off Defender 3D for the yep. V1s. Yep, Tim, yeah. Um, and, they, like, and they were so popular, really popular. still popular. They really just, popular. We just had to buy some more because they were so popular. Mm. We ran out of stock of the V2s, yeah. and then the V1s were, were running dangerously low. So we got more stock of both now. But I, do, um, I, I, can't, I love the V2s. I love the fact mm. that they look so they Yeah, they're, they, just, they, they do look like, I don't, and I don't know what Land Rover, because obviously we got our new mm. Defender, yep. the one behind us, the yep. V8. Obviously they've put a new light in the back, um, which it's, is <laughs> still not really. Uh, which is still a courtesy light. It's not really. Yeah much visibility at night so the boot lights were brilliant and the v2 yeah they do really really uh, yeah, nice i love sleek. it yeah i love it if i had the defender then that's that's, that's something i'd definitely mm. i mean they're not not even a lot of money really for no, what it is and they're not hard to fit at all they're they're really really quick and easy to do especially v1s yeah. but all the way from us it's good to see mm -hmm. we've got a lot of a lot of people from the us yeah sort of a yeah. lot of demand out there yeah um asking so if there's people that can fit certain products uh -huh. um so we're maybe looking at going on I mean, we said that already haven't we that we yeah need, but we've been so busy that we've, we've literally got so much on at the moment and already planned for 2024 yeah. um obviously we plan to do an east coast tour we've also got a lot of other tours in plan um it's just finding the time to do it yeah though. no we'd, we'd love to we generally would love to but we have like even now we're There's getting pre-booked for yeah. summer next year. Uh, we're getting book bookings in for mm. summer next and year. And it's not it's even just... it's not even the demand of just like the UK. It's people traveling from yep. European countries and yep. like coming all the way over here. Yeah. So it's just it's such a demand. It's so hard to mm. fit something around like a big trip like that. Mm. Um, we're all also in the works of working on new partners, so international partners um, as well as European um, partners. So hopefully we'll be able to bring that mm. within 2024 anyway. Mm. 
I love that color. I, honestly, Matthew, that is such a nice looking rig. I love the the way your cut, your bonnet goes gloss black and it follows the whole way, all the way down to the rear. Love that. And it's got the reverse lights. Yeah, reverse light extended arches, got a spoiler on there. Wheels look good, they're the, they're even the HSE mm. diamond cuts um, sprayed or powder coated in gloss black. They look really, really nice. I love so them. What do you even call that color? Even... Uh, it's desert, desert sand, is yeah, it? Yeah, like a... That looks wicked. I really like them, and even in the scene, all the forest, forestry in the back looks really, really cool. There's not really a lot more that I would do on that. That's like a perfect, for me, Yeah. it's sleek, it's stylish enough. You've got all the gloss black, the color looks wicked. I wouldn't, I honestly wouldn't add anything on that. I'd maybe swap out, because he's got checkered bonnet. Yeah. Inserts. Oh yeah, some bonnet maybe, inserts. Maybe some few ones. Yeah. I'd possibly change the rear lights to the smoked ones. I think yeah. that, that would be the only thing to push it all the way for me. Yeah, I don't know what, I can't remember. Exhaust tips. Yeah. But to be fair, you can add and you can add. <laughs> and you can going. constantly <laughs> put stuff on. Yeah, it does just keep going. Do, do like a, not rate, rate like your okay. favorite build, but go look back on some of like the- The cars we've had in this year. Yeah, the most memorable builds. Off, the, off the top of my head or have you got some here? I have got them lined up. Okay. <laughs> and like, I'm sorry if we miss yours out, but we've had like, we've had 215 cars. Yeah, and we're not even year. finished this year. And we'd be got... here all day yeah. <laughs> if we yeah. went through them all. So I've tried to pick out like, the more unique ones, um, obviously they are all bespoke in their own way. Um, but hmm. yeah, I've just had to do the difficult choice of picking them out. Yeah. And I mean, it's a bit biased first because we're picking, I picked like our car. Yeah, our, the first, our, 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 our Defender Showcase. Yeah. Which I do miss a bit because we haven't had much chance to do stuff to the V8 yeah. um, and put some of our products on. Mm. So we do get sometimes customers now come in and say, oh, what does this look like on the car? And before we could just go, oh, come, we'll mm. show you our, we'll show you our P400, but. Mm. That's that's the problem with having a well-specced out V8. Yeah. Is you have everything on there already. So yeah. there's not really a lot you can do. Yeah, but, but we will be, we will be doing a lot to that. It's just like, mm. again, it's just having a time. I know, being we, so busy. We, we literally picked it up. We've done a video on it we plan to do like the whole odyssey series mm -hmm. and from that point we've been non-stop yep. with booking in we had a we had a week booked out which we ended up doing a customer's car oh yeah yeah um, i remember that that was a massive build yeah and we pushed it back again and yeah every single time someone comes in and goes right oh, the v8 what, mm. what have you done to it and we go we've put carbon fiber <laughs> dashboard ends on <laughs> And that's literally it. Yeah, we have done activations to that. To be fair, we did yeah. do the new, new software update. Yeah, um, the 20, uh, 25 interface or twenty four point five interface. Yeah, I think it's either or, isn't it? Yeah. 24. But I mean, and and that was the one that we found out the activations for of the drivers assist. Yep. So that's when we first looked into it. It was the drivers assist and the V eight, mm -hmm. and then that opened up the new interface. Um, I can't honestly can't wait to see what Land Rover come up with next year, or what they change or what they bring back. Mm, it's going to be interesting. Mm. It's going to be interesting, but I mean that that car we couldn't really do much more to it. Mm. The uh, oh, P400. There is a lot of products on that car, and that was a good base starting car to crack yeah. on with. And you'll see. I mean, on on here we actually. I mean, there was. What do we call it? Like the carbon sort of spec? It, yeah. Because we had it all inside. All the yeah. interior was carbon as well. It had, it had everything possible that we could put in carbon. Yeah. We put it in carbon. So it had the carbon steering wheel with carbon fiber insert. Gear shift was in carbon fiber. We also had the, the hockey sticks. Yeah. The dashboard ends were in carbon fiber. We had a SV bespoke carbon bonnet on it with yep. a chevron. We had a matching gear carrying carbon fiber carbon fiber spoiler 
uh, come from from pop light. Oh yeah. Come on, my bar. Come on, my bar. Come on, my bar. Come on, my bar. There was there was honestly loads. Yeah, that's a lot. And again, that was the what the that was the car that we found out that we could do the 13.1 screen upgrade. Yep. So that, that was, was a the big... first ever car to have that done, wasn't it? Yeah, first ever car um, in the UK to ever have 13.1 on it. Um, obviously in test phase, um, which was a big milestone for us. Obviously, as I'm pretty sure we done, that was, that we done 11.4 on that as well. So Probably, that yeah. even had a smaller screen and we done 11.4 yeah. retrofit two on it. Two upgrades on the screen. That, yeah, that, that car literally had any, yeah. that was our, our baby where we were learning all of the retrofits that we could possibly do mm. to the cars, we bring them into that. So it was a very, very well spec up car. I do, I do miss it. Meridian sound as well. Yeah, it had Meridian that surround. Was a, that was a big, that was a big one. It, and the Quicksilver, had a Quicksilver yeah. on it. It sounded amazing. <laughs> the list just keeps going on. Then, yeah, I, I honestly, <sighs> I preferred the sound of that P400 than our V8. <laughs> I really do think we should put a mm. Quicksilver exhaust on the V8 because mm. it sounds so much more yeah. meatier and uh, yeah. yeah, they really are. Quicksilver are a, a, a brilliant piece of machinery. Yeah, we sad, sad day that was to see that go. Yeah. I'd say this is like a really underrated yeah. build because yeah. this is, I feel like this color is like a really love hate mm. sort of color. Some people love it, some people hate it. Mm -hmm. Which is Pangea Green. Yeah. Which obviously was the first edition colour. The first colour for them to ever be released yeah. and was in the and Pangea I, Green. I think I agree when when it's when this is out on on a, on the silver silver bumpered mm. <laughs> it looks so mismatched that I, I agree when people say they don't like it, but when it's got the front and rear black bumper on and like it's been blacked mm. out, I think it looks really nice. Yeah. I think that's with most colours though. I think yeah. whenever you when, when, when you change when it's, that yeah silver, when it, when you have the silver there and then you change it to the black or you change it yeah. to any other variation of colour, mm. it really does change it. And that that from a base car to like a gloss black Pangea mix was a really and that that had the full um, expedition pack on it as well. Yeah, roof rack, ladder, gear yep. carrier, side steps, mm -hmm. everything on it, and it, it was a really nice looking car. And to be fair, I prefer Pangea over 75th. Oh, that's a tough one. Because Pangea is subtle enough. I mean, I like the interior on a 75th with a grass mirror on the inside yeah. as well as the outside. But the wheels for me are just... We'll come on We'll come on to that. Yeah. We do come on to that later. Yeah. But yeah, the Pangea, I, I do like the Pangea. Mm. It is nice. It's a nice car. Yeah. This was obviously the car... Um, I say the car, it was the couple that took our P400 off us as well. Mm -hmm. um, he, su he surprised his partner, or mm -hmm. wife, sorry, to actually get bring it to us. So she didn't know that we were yeah, that she quite, was even getting a Defender. It was quite, yeah, it was quite exciting yeah. to see a reaction to that. Because it, it was a very, very good build and to match that with our yeah. 90 P400 was... What I loved. What respect. I loved about this car and our car was obviously we had the orange. Yeah, um, we had the six piston. Yeah, the uh, the D three hundred. Sun sunburn orange. Or Sun, something. Yeah, sunburn orange calipers, six pot piston. And this obviously had the Xeon blue and yeah. like just them two wheels like next mm. to each other. It looked it was yeah. like because because um, we were going to spray them, weren't we? Um, yeah. But we were on a really really tight lead time. Right we time, could we yeah. could do it. We could do it for them, but it pushed the collection date back. Yeah. Um, we show them the the difference of obviously the smaller calipers mm. compared to the six piston, and they looked at them and straight away they were like, "Yeah, put them on." They were that they, those cars are probably the most specced up defenders on the road, and yep. they you can't they, <laughs> they don't get better than that on a driveway. Yeah. I really I really like this build, mm. um, and like I say, that they were like one of my favourite photos mm. to do because. Because of like the black, the green background and that, that mm. being like a black car, it just stood out mm. so much. It was so aggressive. Yeah. And they were like one of the first cars, I think, to have the exhaust tips. Mm -hmm. Like they were in like the design stages, design stages yeah. before we 
and printed the logo and stuff on. Mm. Um, nice, nice, nice cars. Really good, nice good car. pair. Lovely couple as well. Yeah, they were. To yeah, be fair. And, and they weren't too far from us, which is yeah. unusual nowadays because mm -hmm. we get a lot of people travel all over the place. But yeah. This one's like a proper yeah. throwback. This is this is yeah. like the start of the year. I, I I did love this car, and that we, we when we found the location for to actually film the outro or intro, we do intro and outro there. Probably yeah, I can't. Because obviously we we we're, we're based in Fetford, so we are surrounded by forest. But most of the time we don't get time just to go out mm -hmm. film the cars. Yeah. And we we done so well with time management on that car that we had time to take it out to somewhere a little bit more scenic. Um, I've done, oh, done it wonders thinking about that car. That was one, I think that was one of the first cars to have the bumper on it. Yeah, I'm right. Yeah, that was a, one of the first ones to have DRLs. But they, they, this was a lovely family that come to us. I mean, mm. um, the owner, the owner's son was like, uh, been watching us for a while. Mm -hmm. um, and he's got, I think he's got an Instagram mm. where he posts about the car for his dad. But um, yeah, they they were like proper mm. fans of, of you. Yeah, they, they got photos. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It was it was lovely. It was really really good. That's one of my personal favourite things about working here and working on the cars. Actually meeting people and you know finding out more about our customers rather than just come in. <laughs> we, like we're not a garage. At the end of the day, we we want to work with our customers to get more of a bespoke package. Yeah, because a lot of the time and, they, for, for they, their lifestyle, they don't. They don't know particularly know what they want. It's yeah. like they'll come in with sort of ideas of, or oh, can I have a look at this? Can I have a look at that? And then it's mm. sort of showing them these different options and mm. asking them what they use the car for, and then them being able to offer them certain products for their lifestyle. Yeah, it's, it's it's really good having the warehouse here. Yeah, to be able to like just pull out things and show yeah. them there and then when they get here. Yeah, um, it, yeah. It, it is one of our. That is one of my favourite cars that we've done, I must say. Yeah, I, I think, think that was one of the first for the reverse lights. It as well, def but... definitely was for reverse lights. Yeah, because that was like our showcase. Yeah. Just to, to show that product off, and that's where it really hit. And that was V ones, and now yeah. we're on what V V three V fours. So if you guys have been following our social channels, you would have seen. Um, we recently posted a video on the different comparison of the reverse lights we have in stock. Now, these have been really, really popular since we actually started selling them. Um, we got, first we had a V1, then we got V2 and V3. Now we posted a video on it and we had lots of comments and different email inquiries with regards to they liked the version 3, um, that was a more of a slim line and also had the reverse function, but they actually really, really liked the indicator. So shout out to uh, Tristan Mars and also Alex Worrell. Um, for pushing this to us, we've actually now brought out our V4 reverse lights, which also incorporates a sweep indicator light as well. Yeah, yeah, they're wicked. That's a wicked car. Was yes, GT yeah, gallery. GT gallery all the way from France. Um, I love, I love the wrap on it. Honestly, it was an amazing car, and it was very different to what we get through the door. Um, it brought out a lot of new products for us. Um, it was like an, a perspective of obviously a lot of customers come to us with commercial cars. Yep. Yeah, there was a big demand for it. Really. Massive, massive demand for commercial vehicles um, everywhere in the world, not even just in the UK. Mm. That you know, we a lot of our products are gloss black, and opened our eyes a lot. I mean, to should we just go on from there? Obviously, match. So we've got uh, gloss white pod lights mm. coming in, um, which are now available for special order, um, as well as spoilers as well. And that was it, honestly, it looked amazing when that car was finished. It really did. The front and rear bumper was very unique as well. It was wrapped in yeah, um, like, like a, a black matte wrap, wasn't it? Yeah. It was really, really cool. The pod lights and the spoiler, you say uh -huh. they're special order? Yes. Yeah. Are they on, they're not on the website, are they? They're, they're, not, they're not listed yet. So you can get in contact with us to request them. Yeah. Um, obviously, we work with uh, our local uh, body shop. We don't have a spray sh um, shop on site. Um, so obviously, we send special orders over to them. 
they get done, the lead time for it's normally about yeah. three days. Um, we do have a batch of them being done currently, so hopefully in the new year we'll be listing them as products that you can actually purchase straight from there and it'll come directly out of our stock. Um, but we don't know, we don't know how popular they're going to be. Yeah, we also done the screen in there as well. Yeah, that's just had a screen upgrade. Do they have LED grow light as well? Yeah, the LED yeah. grow light. Um, but yeah, we're still, mm. we're still in contact with, what, what's his name again? Nicholas. 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 Sorry, yeah. Nick. <laughs> but, um, it was good for him to come down as well. Yeah, because he was watching how we work, how yeah. we fit the uh, screen in particular. Because um, he, he, his line of work, GT Gallery, I've been following on Instagram yeah. for years. Big over there, aren't they? Yeah, they've, they've, they've done all the old Defenders as well. So obviously they're now venturing into the new Defenders yep. um, in, in partnership with us. Um, we're doing, obviously they've done amazing cars before mm -hmm. and you know now stepping into new Defender um, territory. Yeah, it's gonna go up from there, and I can't wait to see all the vehicles that they produce. Yeah, I like that build. It was really yeah. good. This is the color. The color for me is my yeah. favorite. Is the white roof, white pod line, white spoiler. Just get rid spoiler. of the silver. Yeah, <laughs> I just don't. Yeah. I can't. I, can't I, I want to see. Silver. Do you know what I want to see? What? I want to see that car with a front and rear gloss white bumper. Nah. No, I'm not with too you. Too much. Not with, not, you, not with the wheels. The wheels would be way too much. I'm not with you because then because then you've got the ABS plastic on the side on the door mm. cards and it's like mm. too too much going on. Mm. You know what I mean? That's it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this one was another. Oh, spectacular. Well used. This this was recent. Build. Yeah, this, this is really recent. recent. Um, I love this. Yeah. <laughs> Mainly he had everything. The, the wrench. The yeah. Button. Oh, the, the, you um, see that real. no, no. So the, he came, his car was actually pretty specced up yeah. before. Yeah. Um, he was so lucky to get that car with that spec, um, with a hitch on the front, you know, there was everything on that car. The only thing it didn't have, or the, he wanted to change was things like the gear carrier came to us in a different color. Yeah. It was the, the silver. Yeah. Um, so we wanted to change that. So we put a black one on there. You obviously had the reverse lights put on. Um, LED grill light he had on there as well. Yep. So little personal touches. So it just shows that it doesn't matter how specced up your car is or how much, how, how many accessories you put in the car. There's always a step further you can go or yep. little changes you can make just to finish it off. I remember, I remember he said he, he doesn't even think he's ever going to use the hitch because obviously he's a yeah, family he just man. Said it looks he just cool. said it looks cool. And I, I agree. Yeah. <laughs> I think it looks awesome. Yeah, I, I would 100%, if I had a, a hitch on my car, I would be towing everyone's cars throughout the car park. I'm looking at you, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I think I have seen people actually, um, they've actually like wrapped, wrapped it, haven't they? Yeah, yeah. A lot of people don't like the ABS plastic and I sort mm. of agree with but I suppose if you were using it off for off road, mm. then the ABF plastic makes sense because it's not going to chip mm. the paint or because yeah. it doesn't have paint. But no, I really like I really like that build. Mm. It's a shame this was like this came in during a week where we were really busy. Mm. So we I would have been vehicle. yeah, I would have yeah, loved video. to do like an actual video and like walk around of it. But yeah, um, yeah afraid we were just so busy. We just I did the only photos I got mm. <laughs> of it because. And arches as well, weren't we? We were gonna change yeah. his arches. Yeah, I think I think he was in he was in a rush also though. He had to be done early. Um, I think he went, he he left us about three four o'clock. Mm. So we would have loved to do arches. So definitely definitely come back and we'll um, definitely put some arches on there because yeah. that will just finish that off. Possibly spray your front a, a frame as well. Yeah, wicked car though. Wicked. Really. <laughs> Tristan's car now. Not, I, my, not my car. Not your, not your car. Tristan from Switzerland. Trist, Tristan from Switzerland. This this car I remember mm -hmm. like it was literally yesterday. This build was again one of my personal favourites. Now I've said that every <laughs> single time we've yep. seen a car, but this was no. This was up there to be fair. This is definitely up there. We done. It, it was a very very spec'd up build, but at the same time quite minimal in regards to modifications on mm -hmm. exterior. Had the nine piece check plate. Uh, yep. That was, and, and that yeah, was the plate. first time, you know, what, we, we, we sell a lot of the checker plate kits mm. as individual bits. Yeah. No we never, never put a full kit on and this, and Tristan's car, we put a full checker plate kit on. Um, the wheels. I think it suit the wheels. The, yeah, they, they, it makes them stick out so much better. The, the wheels themselves, 
just fit that car so well. Yeah. Like he's not got extended wheel arches, but he's got big chunky tires and it still works with the 20 inch satin gray, um, satin black wheels. They, they, it honestly was one of my favorite builds. Mm -hmm. He and had like, high uh, spec interior and exterior. Yeah. Yeah, had the reverse lights, boot light, yeah, uh, just all the practical bits that yeah. he needed really. Uh, in deplorable size sets was the that was like the pinnacle for yeah. him. The reason why he travelled all the way to us from Switzerland was that was a to, shock to get the size sets done um, because yeah. his main dealer wouldn't do them. And the cost of and the cost of how much they were it was like fifteen fifteen thousand yeah, euros like that. or something, oh. and that that was crazy. I mean, we obviously we don't supply at that price. Ours is a lot, lot cheaper. It's like a third of that price, yeah. um, which everyone always says, oh, they're expensive. But when you're using genuine Land Rover parts to do retrofits mm. and not only having to wait for them, but also actually having to, yeah. to get them and obtain the whole kit, is that's the one of the things he said is he could have he could have got the parts, but no, none of the dealers that he spoke to would fit them. Um, and then cherry on, cherry on the top of the cake, was he will get them done at a fraction of the cost um and, and he was over the moon the, the car itself was honestly i love it i build. love that build i think that was a very unique build there wasn't really many cars that mm. we've done like that yeah it was and, it was sleek it's sleek and subtle but at the same time it definitely stood out yeah I'm, I'm, sure, I'm sure it's just, I mean, I think he, I think he did contact us after driving back mm. home saying that how much he loved the car, so yeah. he must have got a lot of, a lot of looks. Yeah, I think, looks I think you do all the time anyway with any accessories or just the Defender on the road. Yeah. But that was a, yeah, really love, love it. Love it. This one, the, this is so controversial. But, no, but our, our, like, I remember when it come in, mm in that colour without the black pack yeah. I remember it coming in and all of us every single one of us said oh yeah I'm not sure about that I don't really like yeah. it yeah when they when they when Land Rover brought out the 75th anniversary it was yeah. like one of the things where everyone thought it was going to be like a really really exclusive car there's only going to be so many of them yeah. made a little bit like the James Bond 007s yeah. but that's that's the one thing that I think puts everybody off is that there were so many of them on the market mm. that yeah. You know, they were going cheap. People, I say cheap, they're still 70, 70 80 grand cars, yeah. standard spec. Um, but the, the green threw a lot of people off. Obviously, yeah. it, the green is supposed to be like more heritage. And, yeah. But once we once we'd done this car, because we had this car in for a week, this is yeah. a massive build. It was a huge build. We'd done, they had a carbon bonnet. Yep. It was, it, again, the most specced out 75th anniversary on the road. There was so much products that we put on that so much time we spent on that car yeah i remember by the end of the by the end of the week everyone was saying oh, i actually really like that yeah it was what it, it was quite funny because uh, obviously to go from like when the car was coming in everyone's like oh it's the, it was like the it was the green wheels it was the green wheels and the green body it just it looked out yeah because we done um the a bar and that as well we changed that to be gloss black yeah um the whole all of the exterior trim went from abs plastic to gloss black i think we put some carbon interior bits on it as well mm -hmm. um, just to match the bonnet that we've done yeah and then obviously the roof rack honestly we had so much we put had, on there and it had the club table yes on the back yep um yeah. but yeah that i love that car wicked personally car. I, I thought it was wicked mm. i thought that was such it's a good it's definitely car. it's definitely one of the ones that we remember this year because we, we, we we've had a couple of 75s in yeah but never to the extent did we do mm. the 75th like that it was a lovely looking car. I just love the fact that it come in. Everyone was like, and he's got, and he's got another one. It. He's got another yeah. one. He's got a ninety now. Yeah, everyone so, was so unsure about it, and then when it was finished, everyone was like, oh, "I really like that." Yeah, look. yeah. Um, so yeah, that, that's probably one of my favourite builds. Yeah, if I'm honest. Maybe a matte, maybe a matte grass may green. Yeah. Yeah. Let's try it. If you've got that, bring it in. Yeah, and we'll have a look. We, we want to see it. <laughs> do for the last one I, I, i'm flicking through these by the way because there's so many on here that yeah. we have to sort of narrow it down otherwise I mean, you're going to lose interest if we yeah. go through every if we go through <laughs> 215 cars we've done this year there's then, a lot of cars to talk about mm. in such a short and every, time and every single one was unique every single car that yeah. came through our door this year was specced up differently yeah. there's not a single car that had exactly the same build mm. come through 
there was a little thing you could come in for little things like side steps and a roof rack or something like that and even that yeah it was always good to see um that's one thing i'm looking forward to next year is hopefully yeah absolutely smashing our next our new number yeah. at the park i think yeah i think two, mm. what we, two, 215 yeah i think we should aim for like 300 easy Three, 300 easy 300 is going to be tough but yeah i'll put money on it <laughs> yeah right so i think we should end on the most recent build yep which is i mean you said it's your favorite but you've said oh, yeah. Favorite, yeah everyone so. yeah <laughs> i love defenders this was our recent hunters build mm -hmm. video which side is it that side that side <laughs> yeah um yeah i Shame we didn't get any good photos of this. Oh, the pro the problem was, it's now hit winter, and yeah. where we normally take our images, just out the front. Um, we, I mean, we've got the one in the bay, which yeah. you see there, yeah. but it just, I don't think... You can't see the carbon bonnet that well in no. that one, but... The V8, obviously, it was, obviously the V8 specced up as it is. It's an absolute beast of an engine anyway. Yeah. And the Carpathia and Matt Rapp, this is a well, well-built car. Yeah. It's had front bumper, grill light, it had all of the, the Hunter's light package, yep. should we call it. Yep. Um, it had a custom exhaust on it as well, which you thought was a Quicksilver. Yeah, but they look it very wasn't. similar, to be fair. They, they do. And they do so sound quite similar. It had a, a Cobra, which we've never had come in yet, which mm. is a, it was one of one that they'd done for him, mm. um, custom commissions, and it, it sounded amazing. <laughs> did the, anyone knows what the v8 sounds like this was more of a meaty uh um, it's like a rumble wasn't it? yeah it's more like a rumble it was it was a, such a nice tone um love that car yeah so it had obviously the gloss back arches mm -hmm. front bumper yeah um pod light pod light rear spoiler rear spoiler did it have reverse lights he did yeah he did yeah um anyway if you want yeah if you want to see more of that car yep link to the videos there um Really nice car, really nice build. Nice guy. Yeah. Yeah. He's, uh, I think he was a dentist or something. Yeah. 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 But yeah, you do meet some, uh, all, like all kinds of people. Everybody. Like, we every, get... There's not like, there's not like one type of person that owns yeah. a Defender. I think because the Defender is so like versatile and like you can change it so much. Like I said, like you, there's not just one type of person that owns it. Mm -hmm. Like anyone can own a Defender mm. and you just customise it to how you want it yeah and like, we, we get fits you we get everything from rugby players to people that have saved their whole life to be able to get a car mm. yeah of this spec or you know that sort of level of a car and absolutely cherish it which is a good thing is like you say every every single person that comes through the door adores their Defender or mm. they've had Range Rovers in the past and they've gone on to Defenders just because they thought you know why not try something different and it's so good to see over the last year how we've progressed as a company mm. working on these cars and obviously just getting to know them even more um hopefully we can do that with range rovers oh yeah i'm really looking forward to it yeah. um next year like lot there's a lot to come there's next year. so much isn't it that like to take in yeah um, we're, we're gonna be I'm, I'm saying that we can do 300 cars next year but we're doing range rovers that's why i'm saying 300 easy yeah easy yeah we've got range rover now in the mix as well as defenders um we're gonna have to look for a big place <laughs> yeah. we generally are because yeah yeah it's gonna be i yeah. mean i I'm, I'm i'm worried for you guys because you yeah. guys are it's only you and nick fitting yeah. so any I, I help any, when any, i can yeah but. any communication anyone has with me yeah let's go out the door because there's gonna be so many I'm gonna, I'm gonna be non-stop. Me and Nick are gonna not stop mm. working on cars this year. Which is year. harder for me, because of our 2023 wrap up. Um, thank you so much to all of our customers that have bought products from us, brought a vehicle in to be customized this year. Can't wait to see uh, what 2024 mm -hmm. has in store for Hunters Prestige. Um, what was your favorite build as well, guys? Let us know in the comment section below. And also, if you, we didn't mention your vehicle, don't take it to heart. Drop it in the comment sections below. Um, or just send your photos to our socials, mm. which will be on the screen now. Yeah. <laughs> As always, guys, don't forget to like, follow, subscribe, and hit that bell notification to stay up to date what Hunters Prestige is doing in 2024. See you next time.